Yes, a lot of people don't know that. Ever since Bash version 4, so this was sometime around 2010, I don't know the exact date. Uh, maybe it was before that, I really don't know. Long story short, associative arrays exist. You can create arrays in Bash where the key is a string and the value is also like, you know, a string or whatever kind of data type you want to shove in there, string data, basically. Um, and what's really cool is it's similar to like a Python dictionary. It kind of is for, um, I know Python has something called default dictionary or default dict, I think is the name of it, where you can set like a default value if the key doesn't exist and you start referencing it for the first time. You can kind of cheat this with bash where numbers will get treated like zero if they're unset. So let me show you a little snip real quick. Okay, this is super scuffed. I couldn't get a terminal screenshot over to my phone, but uh, take a look at this right here. Uh, this is valid bash syntax. You can do declare dash cap a, the name of a variable. This will make a new associative array. And then what you can do here is we can just reference a key in that array. So we can say, hey, you know, foo, plus plus it. Foo didn't exist, but it will get treated as if it was zero. And this will now be an array with one element named foo, and the value of foo will be one. So this is really cool. If you need to do like a frequency count or something, you can kind of just call plus plus and it'll treat them as integers. If it's never seen the key before, it'll increment zero to one. And if it's seen it before, it'll just increment whatever's there. Um, so yeah, super useful.